think there should be new legislation? Uh, let me first of all say that I have all, all of the sympathy and empathy for the victims, but it is a misnomer to sit here and say that uh, a cruise ship is, is a dangerous vacation uh, because it's truly one of the safest vacations and most comprehensive vacations that you can take. The FBI uh, you're numbers, safer, wait a minute, I'm, I'm trying to back uh, you can man, say, I'm just trying to give you some numbers here very quickly. Let me just say this, the FBI's number of reported attacks, 30.9 per 100,000. So that, that I, I think that backs yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, it's obvious there are millions and millions of people taking wonderful cruise vacations, but uh, it, Representative it, Brown, how do we prevent these uh, individual uh, cases from happening? I, I agree with you, but first of all, let's say it's over fifth, uh, 5 million people taking a cruise per year. And most of them are repeat uh, people, sure. and, and and they have a safe and very comprehensive uh, trip. But 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 saying that, certainly we need to have additional uh, methods. But you're safer on a cruise than you are right here in D.C. or in any major cities in the United States. That's probably now, true. But how do we help these people right here uh, who are struggling for closure on this? Why don't we have marshals on those ships and security cameras? Why don't we have cameras? people who can come in and, and we have, off a crime we have scene? A yeah. we have, no, no. At, since we've had the hearings, the cruise ships have volunteered. Uh, implemented many measures and one of them is that they're working with the FBI to make sure that they have uh, reporting in addition to and that. And that's fantastic, but I don't, I don't want to hear the cruise ships are volunteering because it is a business. Terry, it is a yes, business and you know, you're going you're gonna to try to do it. Are you going to let me finish any statement? Be my guest. Okay. And secondly, uh, they, they're installing peepholes. Uh, they're, they're doing a whole list of things that we've asked them to do voluntarily. Okay, okay but you it. haven't asked them to do enough, in my opinion. You haven't asked them to well, do enough. I mean, when you go no, on a cruise yeah. and you, your family, your family is raped, somebody in your family is raped or attacked, you should have somebody come in and cordon off a crime scene. It's very and simple, absolutely. Representative. One of the things that I've asked is that they hire more women in these key positions, whether in security, as far as medical uh, assistance, Yes, we need to well, do all well, these are answers, I don't really though. care who's doing it, a man or a woman. Somebody needs to cordon off the crime scene uh, so that this information can uh, get to the FBI. I understand what she's saying. We, working, a woman wants a woman doing it. Yeah, her. I mean, and women are more uh, confident in situations that they're more sensitive to, uh, is, to work with women if there is some crime that, yeah, that Congressman been, Brown, just a second, I want to hear from Terry. So is one of the problems that most of these ships are registered outside of the United States? That, that isn't a problem because any ship coming into a U.S. port must abide by the laws and regulations of this state. Absolutely, in the high seas as well. But I think what's important to talk about is commitment to training. And, and you talked about crime scene preservation and evidence preservation. That's critically important. Well, and I had, I, had a, I had a the personal opportunity to go through the training that our cruise lines are doing. We spent over a day with the FBI, a day with the Coast Guard, going through the steps that are necessary so that that crime scene management is taking place. What so would be wrong a with lot my, of it independent is, marshals my, on cruise ships? Real quickly, my, Terry. Yeah. Well, there, there are international laws that come into play here, so it, it's not an easy, an easy fix. Yeah. So it'll Congressman argue. Brown, you want to finish this off? Go ahead. Yeah, I, I just want to say that uh, the cruise, it's, it, it's a misnomer to imply that a cruise is a, a dangerous place to, uh, to take a, tr a, cr a comprehensive vacation. That's not the case. But we need to make sure that we uh, incorporate safety measures in like throughout all of our cities okay. and all of our communities. Well, I hope that the Congress people and you know, senators will jump in on this, and I hope they're not swayed by the lobbyists. That's